Hasta luego. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Slavi here. I know this is kind of an awkward position to <laughs> record in, but is what we got. So currently I'm in Tokyo. Basically what I wanted to do is show you my travel bag with my utilities in here and basically show you what I have um when I go traveling. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you exactly what I have in this particular bag, which is see-through. The reason it, I got one that is see-through, I got this at Superdrug in England a long time ago. And it was a two-pack, so it had this and another one which I use for my electronics. So it's easier for it to be see-through, especially when you're going through uh, customs. So they can actually look at it and be like, okay, everything's under 100 mils or 100 mils at that. Um, inside, we're just going to throw everything out so I have to repack it anyway. It's all this good is. So it looks like a lot, but it's actually not. And um, additionally, all this stuff over here that I've hidden away. So what do we have in here? So some from Super Drunk, many years ago. So first thing first is what I have at the bottom. So I have this mirror that I think, I can't remember where I bought this a long time ago again. So I put this at the bottom. So then when I'm traveling, I can just have a look at it at the bottom there. Um, what I also had are face wipes that I got from China. Uh, handy little ones. Very important are some plasters. Just a small selection of band-aids from Johnson & Johnson. Um, got these in China again. Um, some people don't really carry first aid equipment which I think is very important especially when you're doing a lot of walking and you might get a little blister in the back of your foot or something or like you know I had issues where my nails were really long and then for some reason they would split and then I didn't have what I now have because I thought you weren't I thought you weren't allowed to travel with them but apparently uh, you can. What I never did was put one of these in here because I didn't think you were allowed to travel with it because of the little makeshift knife thing that's on there um, but apparently you can so crisis averted so one of these plasters shower cap that I stole from one of the hotels cotton buds that I stole from a hotel in Vietnam actually <laughs> got to stock up this one I stole from the hotel in Osaka cotton pads in there um, still up from another hotel. Another one is a nail file, still from another hotel. Don't steal because technically it's yours, which you stay in that hotel in in that room. It's a mini um, toothpaste. But while I was in transit in Hong Kong, they were selling this as a full package. So what I realized is when I used this in Thailand. It lasted me the whole time I was there and I was only there for four days. Technically five, but the, the day was halfway, half, the day was mostly in the air, so that doesn't count. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna be in Japan for eight, technically seven, because one of it is in the air. So I thought, I saw this in uh, Hong Kong and I bought it. Don't ask me how much it was, can't remember. So yeah, toothpaste, toothbrush, make sure you get one of these little things, toothbrush holder things, because you never know what's going on in those bathrooms in hotels. Um, and if you can get a mini one, if you're only away for like three days or something, it's easier to plonk it in there. This one is a little bit fiddly. So this and this will go in the side pocket of my bag rather than in there. Um, trusty comb, small one rather than a brush. Floss, which I got back home in England. 
these are just little tiny ones um, and it comes with a travel kit I got this in the body care not body shop body care the the bagging one the bagging shop like home baggings but not home baggings it's called body care so yeah that's quite handy um this was left over by my companion so i just took it because it's 100 mils anyway uh which i don't really use mouthwash because i don't like it burning sensation so i don't really use that sometimes i use a toothpaste the toothpaste that has the combination uh two in one toothpaste and mouthwash um the other thing is i got these but this is basically my body lotion not body lotion shower gel for the body so this is a hundred ml or maybe it's less actually maybe it's 50 this is conditioner for my hair and this is my shampoo which I know is the Cantu one yeah it's the Cantu shampoo in here shampoo in there and trusty eye drops because my eyes tend to get quite dry um especially with my contact lenses in and then what i found out is that hotels will give away razors so you don't have to carry your own so razor blades hotels give you that so you can keep that next thing is my hand cream that I got from the body shop while transiting through somewhere I think it was Taiwan use the hand cream as like a whole body lotion situation um because nowadays we don't lotion ourselves uh, <laughs> what I also have is usually hotels give you like sanitary bags I tend to use the sanitary bags as a storage for like my dirty underwear or something dirty uh, or my one second there we go or my uh, washcloth basically my hand uh, rubber dub dub exfoliating so when these are soaking wet and I'm going to travel back or travel somewhere else and they have, there's no time for them to dry I will plop them in the bag um, and then carry those with me the next thing is obviously my contact lenses which usually are on the strip so they look like that several ones so um, I usually would bring along for the amount of days that I'm away so currently I have some in now so I'm, uh, I know that I have two one day left because this is left and right um, which I will not use tomorrow because yes I will use tomorrow because I'm going to Mount Fuji tomorrow um, the extra things are face wash so this is my Dermalogica it's actually in the wrong bottle because I topped it up so this is um, inside is actually the special cleansing solution which I use and um, the other one that you can use if you really have a dry skin is essential cleansing solution this is a travel form and it also comes with this and this and the other one which I just finished off yesterday and this is the pure night the C12 Pure Bright Serum that helps with pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, and also the day uh, moisturizer. So I would use these morning and night. So I would wash my face using my trusty little face scrub that I bought in China at Sephora. I'm not sure where you can get these now. So I squirt a little bit, wet, wet my face, wash that and then put some of the serum on, just the dark spots that I have, hyperpigmentation. Then if it's night time, I will use the night one, or if it's daytime, which now is gone, I will use the daytime one. So those are, this one is 50 mils. Put that in there. Also, if I have 
my makeup on I will use the pre cleanse from Dermalogica as well and this is really good because it gets rid of all the makeup off your face in, in like one sweep which is really good actually it gets everything off quite handy um, for a quick one and then obviously we have sorry this is a very awkward position my Nivea roll on which is quite hefty to say it's 50 mils it's one of the chunkier things I've got in here um, which kind of breaks down everything and this I just was using I've just kind of finished out a little bit this is my concoction that I made that I think I showed you guys how I made it of putting basically everything together <laughs> that is essential for you for your whole body so inside is basically shea butter argan oil baba baba oil all the essential oils in here for my scalp my face everything so I just use this especially when I have brazen um, or when I've just shampooed conditions my hair it's very handy for when um, you're away to have it in this small container especially this um, so yeah you can add anything in there um, also essential are your tablets like your paracetamol my hay fever tablets other tablets from my other issues hay fever tablets lemsip cold and that's it yeah cold and flu tablets for all those issues in there um also in here we got this at watson's well the ex did one day and it's actually a nice neat condom holder so yeah ladies bring your own condoms or whatnot um and again is wet uh not wet wipes hygienic wipes so i tend to wipe down stuff when i get to the hotel so for example the remote control maybe some of the times the door handles the light switches definitely 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 the toilet seat i have to wipe that down several times before i even sit on the toilet seat outside of my house um so yeah very handy what i have noticed is that in this particular hotel they have these small accessories here so what i'm gonna do this is 15 mils i'm gonna empty this shampoo out because I'm not using no hotel shampoo because even down to the hotel body uh, wash it just strip away some of the minerals on your skin and leave you looking like Casper the ghost so <laughs> don't use the hotel uh, <laughs> sometimes people do and it's been okay but sometimes I've had issues where I've come out in the shower looking like Casper and I'm like, what happened? Or feeling like dry as a bone, like I just come out of the desert after 15 days. Just crazy. So I technically bring my own. Um, but with this one, what I'm going to do is, cause, wait a minute, again. Okay, I'm back. So what I did was, while in Osaka, I bought this black sugar face scrub and basically it's very good for your skin I actually looked at the recommendations online before I bought it in the shop and it's basically like I have been using it already it's basically a sugar scrub to get rid of all the uh, crap on your skin but also because it's enriched with very good stuff um, and it promotes a glowing skin honey so all of this is from Korea Korean base products are the best but I bought this in Japan so it's quite handy also this is a hydrating coconut mask um, skin food this is also from skin food as well which I think you can buy anywhere um, but I've personally not seen it so this is the coconut mask 
hydrating leave on at the uh, leave on during the night mask um, and it says Philippines coconut hydrating and this is also made in Korea so that's probably why I've never seen it in the UK so all I'm gonna do for travel purposes when I get back is I'm gonna take two of these from this hotel and I'm gonna plonk this inside here and plonk this inside another one so when I'm traveling I have a face scrub and I also have a hydrating night mask as well for when I'm traveling and then that goes into the bag there um yeah so that is what is inside this one. and here we have is my makeup bag so this is Burt's Bees uh, makeup bag I got this on sale when I went back home it from Holland and Barrett's actually so inside the bag was like um, loads of lip balms, like several lip balms and like lotion, but it was on offer for like five pounds. And I use this as a travel makeup bag. So in here, don't have much makeup in here, honestly. Don't really, don't really need it. Um, so firstly, again, what we have. Uh, is all my trouble is my receipts from being in Osaka. I make up remover pads, which I use as face remover pads as well. Um, my MAC long wear nourishing waterproof foundation that I got from South Korea at that time. Um, here we have Chinese face oil blotting paper. I don't really use it but I thought it might be handy at some point. Um, this I got from China is a silicone. Um, this is for putting on the foundation. Um, here I bought some travel lipstick while I was in Macau and these are from MAC. Um, there was five Three of them are still at home. One of them is in the bin because it's an awful colour. And these two are the only two colours that really match my skin tone perfectly. So this one is more of a nude and like a red. So here. So it's a bit more. Oh, you see it? A bit more. So one is party, one is daytime basically colours there. Um, again, cotton bud nail file. Um, my NYX Jewels Wonder Stick that I got from Singapore. This is a bit too... Yeah. Wonder Stick there. Um, again, some more contact lenses. So technically I have extra day there. A uh, liquid eyeliner that I got from MAC, so it's a tiny one. Uh, eyebrow pencil that I got from Korea. And this one I got from the Duty Free in China. And this is a nice pocket book. Um, mascara, roller mascara from Benefit. Again, eyebrows. Eyebrow, what it's called, like volumizer, little brush from Benefit in the Duty Free from China, Beijing. Uh, again, Makeup Forever palette. I think I showed you guys this before, but I use it as a blusher. Um, and then when I realized is that blusher is not that great, so I got from um, Benefit again from the Duty Free counter is a tint so this is a tint that can help to use as a blusher i'll use as red lipstick as well and usually um the koreans use this a lot for cheek and lip so it's just to stain it and you can just keep dotting it on until you get the right color that you want for your lip or your cheek and then we have our foundation brush for any other colours and here I bought these 
three little scent things. I forget where I was. Scents to help you in your journey. So basically this one is for a focus just to, you can breathe it in, put it on your pulse points, your pressure points, your temple, your neck and your wrist or just breathe it in to basically relax yourself while you're traveling. This one is to help you sleep, so it's a lavender one. And this one is another one just to take you away somewhere. So, <laughs> really smells lovely. You just roll it on there. You roll it on maybe your temple. It's basically a nice little, uh, to help you relax especially if you're one of those people that like to meditate and you're into Buddhism as well these three little things help you with that also a little pocket mirror again this I got in South Korea so to get rid of the you know the moustache it's, <laughs> it's a hair plucker and then we have to have some bobby pins and this is an eyelash curler which I don't really need because my eyelashes are quite long anyway um, but we've got to have it it's a female essential and uh, this is from Miniso Mini no this is from Muji um, which is a Japan make so yeah so that is everything that fits in there under 100 mils or under in here makeup people may ask is how do you charge like your phone and stuff what is very handy nowadays and many people don't actually have them are possible chargers so I never had one of these before I went to China after I've come from China I have two so they are very handy especially if you have an iPhone you'll realize that your iPhone battery does not last very long in different conditions weather conditions heat or cold so have an external portable battery pack helps you can travel with these as long as it is in your cabin baggage and is not exceeding a crazy amount of watts don't quote me on how many watts it should be but this one I actually bought on Taobao and it's a small handy one Take that out. it's a small handy one so this fits in my hand quite nicely this is actually 10,400 mAh and when you shake it it shows you how many lights are left So that means I need to charge it because I have used the hell out of this. So it's telling me when all the lights are on, it's full power. This will last me at least four days. Maybe a little bit longer than that. Four to five days. This on full charge. So this one was from Taobao. Came with a little nice carrier bag. And it came with its own little... Uh, handheld ring thing so you can stand it up anywhere or hold it while you're traveling um, and obviously my cable this one is from Xiaomi which is a Chinese brand um, a very reliable Chinese brand this one is my 20,000 um, mAh so here you would click this little button here and the lights has come on. So it's telling me I have three lights left which is basically full power and this has been the last time I charged this was before I left to make sure it was fully charged and that was when I left Thailand. So maybe two weeks ago so this has lasted a hell of a long time this one I carry with me while I travel um, usually I will only carry this one 
if I don't think I'm going to be traveling around too much, I will bring this one. If I feel like it's going to be a long ass trip, then I will bring this one. It's much more reliable than that one. Um, but it is much more heavier to travel out and about with. But sometimes you're going to have to sacrifice if you feel like it's going to be a long trip. Very good investment. Portable chargers. This cable I bought in Tianjin because my other cable just died on me. So this has been quite handy. This, as you know, is an Apple one, which I'm surprised that's lasted quite a long time. Um, so yeah, that's my travel uh, DIY 101 whatever you want to call it i hope you've enjoyed this video and leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye